home, my hometown. Oh, uh, okay. What's your Yeah. hometown? Uh, my hometown is in Hạ Long, Yeah. Hạ Long, Việt Nam. How long Bay? Have you heard Hà Long of Bay, it? yes, Hà Long Bay. Is that a beautiful place? Wow, Yes, it's of like... course, it's beautiful. And uh, uh, Yeah. today is um. Uh, weather weather is um not, not too cold, but uh, feeling uh not to have a lot of uh, travel. So it's uh, Okay. yeah, yeah, it's quite Yeah. um For your information, it's quiet. today is one of the eight um like a world heritages. Yeah, a uh, boy, it's interesting. A little boy was just talking about not little. He's about nine or ten. He was just talking about this today. So we did a Yahoo image search and we found it. It has waterfalls, right? Some beautiful waterfalls. Bolivia, please answer. Yes, it's Because <laughs> um, you're it's like beautiful. Uh, I they think are. I think yeah, almost of Vietnam people uh think about the Ha Long Bay is the um, seven wonder beauty in the world. <laughs> I Yeah, think. let me see. I just researched this today. So we have time before the class starts. So I'm going to call this up and put it on the share thing. And it was under Yahoo Images. Um, let's see. Where is it? Um, is it? Well, I don't know. Let me see. Um, here we go. We're going to do a share right away. And is this the place? Oh, that's Ningbing. It's Ah, uh, it's a totally different um, province. uh, how do you spell it? Yeah, how long, like H A, and then Yeah. another word L O N G. Yeah. L O N G. How long? Yes, how long? Okay. Let's see. Oh, that is beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. I've seen that on television. Hmm. Yeah, this is great. The traditional ship to, which uh, in English they say Chinese junk, J-U-N-K. I don't know how it got that name, but they call it a Chinese junk. But it's Why would you call a ship a junk? I know it's a good question. How did it get that name? But J U N K. It's oh, it's a Chinese junk from like two hundred years ago, trading vessel. Now what's that one? Oh, that one's beautiful too. Um, by the way, in one of the Vietnamese coastal towns, they found shipwrecks in a harbor. They were trading ships, and there was really expensive Chinese ceramics and pottery on the ship. Each piece is worth thousands of dollars. It's from the Ming Dynasty. And um, the local people were really good about turning it over to the local museum because some bad people come in and try to steal the treasure. And the treasure is just unbelievably expensive and belongs in a um, museum. Hey, Olivia, can we see your house? <laughs> you cannot see my home it's cost uh my house far from uh, the center about Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. 15 kilometer far from the center This looks like Brazil in the uh, Rio de Janeiro Harbor. Uh, Yeah, that this is um uh, that's i don't know i don't remember but it's a uh, high mountain um, yeah. yeah, it really reminds me of Rio de Janeiro. Oh, my gosh, there's our beautiful romantic ship again. I love that. <laughs> okay. So I'll have Uh, to study up on how long. <laughs> have you ever go to Hạ Long Bay? No, no, I've just been to Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, so I really have to go to Vietnam. Yeah, hope to see you here. Maybe we could have a big party, one, three parties. We'll have a Hanoi party, and then we'll have a Ho Chi Minh City, and then also I want to go to... Um, Middle of Vietnam, Hue. <laughs> that way, yeah, way, way, very interested in way, because of the culture capital. All these uh, countries have culture capitals. In Japan, it's Kyoto. In Indonesia, Bali, it's um, Ubud, U-B-U-D, Ubud. In Korea, it's Kyongju. And in uh, Taiwan, it's uh, sort of Taipei, but really the original Tainan is more original. And then in Vietnam, I think it really is Way. Way. Yeah, The old citadel of Vietnam. yeah Citadel, that's a great word, <laughs> Vanessa, Citadel. How about Sao Ham? Are you there coming in from Italy? Wow. Yeah, I always envy her because Sao Ham's in Italy. Hello, Sao Ham. Oh, we're having some kind of connectivity problem.
How about snow? Are you there, snow? Hello, snow. Sorry, I'm here. So, oh, there's snow. <laughs> because yeah. my uh, computer has a problem. Yes. Uh, now okay. I can speak. And then snow, okay? <laughs> okay, now it's good. Yeah. How is Italy today? Italy today is the um, um the prince coming is coming. Yeah. He's around the corner in Italy. Yeah. Yes, and uh, not uh, too much corn. Mm, so, uh, what many city? flowers. Many flowers. What city are you in, Chauham, in Italy? I'm uh, live. Uh, I am living in Genoa. Oh, Genoa. Far okay, so from that's... Milan, um, yeah. one, or half, one and a half hour mm. from Milan. So that's northern this Italy. The... Mm. Yes, the north, the north Italy. This so is are the they... north um, city. city. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are there plum blossoms on the trees? You know, those deep purple ones or pink? Blossoms. Uh, is there okay. any icon um, of spring in in Italy? Yes. Now they have chestnut blossoms. Blossom. Sorry, I don't understand the question. Oh, well, there are different kinds of blossoms in in Italy. I thought one of the most famous blossoms is the uh, chestnut blossom. They make honey from mm. it. And uh, let me oh. get a picture. Of chestnut, I don't See. know, chestnut blossoms. In French, they say maron, and the Japanese love this uh, chestnut blossoms, uh, famous blossoms. Yeah. Let's get a look here. I don't know mm. if you guys have these in Vietnam, but I know they're really big in Italy. So here we go. Let's see, chestnut we, blossoms. We do yeah. have chestnut but uh, mostly they grow it in the mountainous areas. Mm. So we get to see the oh. chestnuts. <laughs> yeah. Not the yeah. Uh, and then the Italians make chestnut blossom honey. Uh, all these things. Oh. Yeah. That's and it's smells really yeah. delicious. Yeah, I love it. It's expensive, though, in America. Mm. A good Italian chestnut. Uh -huh. all right. All right. Thank you for the new information for me to share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta find some okay. chestnut blossom. In Vietnam, we have something similar, but it's from a cafe, like cafe flowers. The coffee, yeah, yeah, the flowers from coffee trees, and the, oh. they, they can uh, make honey. Uh, mm. Like farmers who who have coffee farms um, mm. sell uh, like coffee flower honey as well. Mm. Yeah. Wow, okay. That's really cool. Hey, Snow, I'm sorry. I called on you and then you came back and went back. How are you, Snow? I'm fine. Thank you. How are you today? Better. I'm feeling better. My voice is stronger. So I'm happy yeah. about that. Mm. Uh, I see. <laughs> how is, how is, uh, Snow, I forgot you are Hanoi person, Ho Chi Minh person, Da Nang. Um, I live in Ho Chi Minh. How do you okay. see So I heard yesterday the student said it was 33 degrees. Is this true? 30, oh, maybe maybe uh, uh, higher, maybe 30, 36 or 36. So oh, hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Japan's so weather in July. So I'm I'm yeah. surprised by that. Right. <laughs> well, that's really hot. Oh my gosh. Yeah, really hot. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So uh, Americans always ask Snow, what do you do to stay cool when the weather is 36 degrees? How do you, how do you stay cool? <laughs> uh, I stay at home and yeah. turn on the refrigerator, uh, turn, turn yeah. on the air, machine. air conditioner. Air fan. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put it in chat, Snow, air conditioner. Yeah. Also, Snow, your name is perfect. You know, if it gets too hot, just think of your name, Snow, and then you will feel cooler. Yeah. Because your name is Snow after all, right? <laughs> Air conditioner. Air conditioner. There you go. That's the machine. Okay. I put that in chat, Snow, so you can learn that word. Air conditioner. 
and that's good air, air conditioner. conditioner yeah, yeah air conditioner. i forgot <laughs> air conditioner very good you got the er sound air conditioner hey how is ha doing i see ha there Ha, you have this natural halo the circle of light is that a computer thing or is that a background ha huh? yeah because mm -hmm. i choose uh the un uh, let me think un un visual uh background oh, okay that's, uh, that's the reason why after me uh, you can not see anything oh, okay it's cool i like it yeah, it looks like a flag like japan's flag or some kind of special flag it's a moon I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? Uh, um, a long week, uh, a lot of uh, work, uh, yeah. a lot of bad lives. Yeah. yeah, so tired. So uh, do people in Vietnam work really hard all day? Uh, I think uh, I think so. Uh, if yeah. you work in an internal company, not international company, uh, we usually have a culture, uh, working culture. Uh, mm -hmm. we, uh, we usually uh, work more than 40 hours a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, even in the weekend, you need to finish your deadline. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I have a, a off day. Yeah. I need to take my laptop and uh -huh. check my work. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So stressful. So today's lesson, we're going to do adjectives and adverbs. So one of the adjectives would be stressful. And you can hear yeah. the stressful. The, um, stressful. Yeah, stressful. So we have some more. I didn't put stressful in the list, but it's a good adjective to learn the uh, pronunciation for stressful. Right. OK, let's go to Natalia. How are you, Natalia? Is Natalia there? Natalia. Oh, well, how about Moon? Are you there, Moon? Yes, good afternoon, sir. How, how are you? Are you? Sir? Yes, <laughs> very good, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're welcome. It's very kind of you. And yes. uh, Moon, uh, what city are you in? I keep asking the cities because I forgot the names of these cities. Uh, my city that I'm living in, Ho Chi Minh City, the same okay. uh, snow, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so it's hot today? Yes, of course, sir. <laughs> Very hot. So everybody uses an air conditioner? Uh, yeah, of course, sir. Because uh, if uh, you you don't use any air conditioner, it's very hot. Because, uh, yeah, you cannot stand for that if they're very hot, yes. Okay. I have a funny story about that, but Moon, um, for your air conditioner, what temperature do they set the air conditioner at? Uh, it's depend on the, the time of the day. Well, for example, for um, uh, tonight, I cannot set at uh, 30, I'm uh, sorry, uh, 25 at first and then uh, 27. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. that's not too strong. Yes. Um, I, my when I used to teach in the college in Hiroshima, the young ladies would set the air conditioning at 22 degrees, and that was mm -hmm. too cold. It felt like a refrigerator, <laughs> and uh, yeah. so it's better to go 25, 27. <laughs> yes. Okay. How is Tony Lee? I see you signed on, Tony Lee. Hi. Good to hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good, but I'm feeling very hot. Because oh, up yeah. in my, my room, don't have the air, con air conditioner. Oh, no. What do you use to keep the windows open? Electric fan? Yeah, I, I have electric fan, but it's still so hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hope you. It, yeah. <laughs> so, will the weather stay at about 35 degrees for March? Uh, April? Yeah, five, more than, more than, uh, five, uh, more than uh, 35 uh, degrees. Uh, yeah. Okay. See, I lived in Saudi Arabia two years ago. It was 50 degrees every day, wow. but, but it was very dry desert heat. So it's a little bit different in the, um, mm. in the shadows. It was cool, uh, which is an interesting thing. Um, not so bad. All right. In the shadows, it was cool. Let's uh, see. How is Nyok? Are you there? 
Yo, oh, Khan. yes, I'm here. Oh, thank you for your voice thing. I listened to it today. It was really good. You put a lot of energy and feeling into it. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed so it. Much. It sounded cool, actually. It's like you have a good speaking voice. Thank you so much. You're welcome. How about Susie? How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. All right. I'm just checking microphone, so I must say hello to everybody. Hello, Vivian. How are you? Is Vivian there? Hello, teacher. Okay. Hi, yes. Okay. Your um the voice is uh the Wi-Fi is maybe going in and out, so we'll have to work on the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, how is Heidi doing or Heidi? Is Heidi there? No. Yeah. How are you? Hello. How are you? Yeah. Great. Thank you. And you? Pretty good. I'm getting better. My voice is stronger. Yeah, and, uh, I hear that. Thanks, Heidi. All right. And uh, let's see, is Jenny? Is Jenny there? Um, how about, oh, hey, Jenny. How are you? Okay. Oh, okay. Some noise there. Um, BS New Yet. BS. Hello, BS. Are you a new student? New Yet. BS. BS New Yet. Are you there? Uh, bác sĩ Nguyệt hay là BS Nguyệt à? Chị thấy đang gọi chị để nói chuyện đấy ạ. À, dạ, um, I'm uh, Natalia. Uh, sorry, I will change my name. Okay, yeah, if you can uh, put an English name, that would help. Yes. Okay, because that new and yet, I can kind of say the new, new yet. I'm trying with my Vietnamese names, but uh, trying, trying. Okay, okay. Okay. Chen. And then there's Huang. Ah. Huang. And then there's Lin. Are you there, Lin? Yeah, I'm here. How are you today? Hello, you, sound, you have yeah, a good so, voice, Lin. <laughs> they're not bad today. <laughs> not bad, okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, What's question? Natalia has a hand question. Natalia, are you there? You said, hey, teacher. Uh, uh, good evening, yeah. teacher, and uh, everybody. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I have absent uh, um, yesterday, and now yeah. I, uh, I can uh, continue uh, for the lesson. OK. Sounds good, Natalie. Um, do you remember, I just want to start with a little review. I made these questions for the younger students today, and they seem to enjoy it. It's the American English Supplement. Uh, let me see, for American English Supplement. This is from lesson two, but um, I, um, I want to give you this one as a review because we go through these lessons quickly. And um, so I came up with this question here. Where did you go for your summer vacation, Tom? Our family went to Thailand. Oh, cool. These are, you know, teenagers talking. Oh, cool. What did you do in Thailand? We rode elephants in Chiang Mai. It was great. And I chose this today because we're going to do adjectives like it was great with that great. So we were talking last week how Americans use strong emotional words on adjectives and adverbs. And so then I got this beautiful picture of Chiang Mai and the elephants, Chiang Mai, I guess, Chiang Mai. And the students asked where it is. So if you go from Ho Chi Minh City, first you fly to Bangkok, and then you can go to Chiang Mai. I researched it on Google. They said there are no direct flights from Ho Chi Minh City to Chiang Mai or direct flights from Hanoi to um, Chiang Mai. You have to go to Bangkok first. So this goes two hours to Bangkok, then two hours to Chiang Mai. So it's a four hour traveling. So also time in the airport means about six to seven hours to go ride the elephants in Chiang Mai. So I was gonna ask um, the students, uh, just an opening question. Has anyone been to Thailand? Can you raise your hand? Because I heard Thailand is becoming a popular tourist place for people from Vietnam. 
and Vietnam is becoming popular for Thai people. There's a lot of uh, inter-traveling. So Vanessa, have you been to uh, Thailand? I've never been to Thailand. <laughs> okay. Do you, does it sound interesting to you? It sounds interesting. It, I, I dreamt of, of going there, but I uh, haven't had the chance to do that. Okay. I had one chance, you know, Vanessa, and I stayed there for only uh, 10 hours because my airplane landed there and I stayed in the <laughs> airport hotel. It was just ridiculous. I, I really wanted to stay a long time. Heidi, have you been to uh, Thailand? Yeah, I just came back from Bangkok uh, three hours ago. Okay, just three hours ago. So that's a great question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was surprised <laughs> when you asked about Thailand. I was in Bangkok for today. Okay. And uh, um, I was land in Hanoi two, three hours ago. Mm. Um, did you like the green curry soup, coconut green curry with chicken soup? I love that. Uh, uh, normally, I take a red curry or Penang curry. It's better mm. for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about snow? Can you tell us about Thailand? Have you been there? I was in Thailand 10 years ago. Oh, okay. Uh, I I went to Hu Hing Seaside. Hu Hing. Hu Hing Seaside. Hu Hen Seaside. I don't know where that is. Is it here or here? Hu Hing. Yeah. In the sea. Near, nearby uh, Bataya. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. There. Like here's yeah. this coast and then there's this gulf here. So I'm not sure which is which. Yeah. Okay. And so did you enjoy the curries, the green, the red, the yellow snow? The, the seaside is very beautiful. And oh, uh, I embrace the the food. It, yeah. It's so good. So good, yeah. And yeah. the pineapple fried rice I love uh, is really wonderful. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. So that's just warming up. I just wanted to show you that uh, we're going to use adjectives today. So let me get today's thing. Um, there we go. Let me stop that. And I want this for today. One moment, please. And adjectives. Okay. All right. And so adjectives, we have happy and sad, tall, beautiful, smart, funny, brave, and fast. So these words are mostly easy, happy, sad, tall, beautiful, smart, funny. How about brave? Does everybody understand brave? Brave, brave. Like courage. Uh Courage, yeah, very good. Courage. All right. And Vanessa, if you want to translate it, you could into a... Yes. Uh, let me translate it for everyone, okay? So brave means can đảm. Um, uh, và từ đồng nghĩa của nó còn một từ khác đó là courage, là sự can đảm. Và từ gốc, thầy đang giải thích cái từ gốc của nó là của, là một từ gốc trong tiếng Pháp. Nó có nghĩa là trái tim. The, yeah, so it's like heart energy mm. for the Leon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just... Do you know that one? I know. Cour de Leon, ah. Cour de Leon is uh, the lion heart in French, mm -hmm. is a great fighter king. He's, they actually have a medal called Cour de Leon, it means ah. the um, okay. heart of the lion. Yeah. Oh, French people like to give out medals. <laughs> yes, they give out medals for everything. Very funny, Vanessa. It's true. It's true. <laughs> All right. So those adjectives are easy. Would you like to say them with me one by one because you enjoy a speaking chant? So let's begin with snow at the top. Would you like to try saying together? It's kind of like, a, like some kind of television show. Snow, do you accept the challenge? Of snow, would you like to repeat them with yes. me? Yes. Okay. Happy. Happy. Sad. Sad. Tall. Tall. Beautiful. Beautiful. Smart. 
smart, funny, funny, brave, brave, fast, fast. Yeah, so there, most of these, at least four of these are just one syllable. The sad, the tall, the smart, the brave, the fast. Five of them have just one syllable. The only um, two syllables are happy, uh, three, happy, beautiful, three and syllables. funny. Funny. Okay, so it's not too difficult for the adjectives. Yeah. All right, let's go to Heidi. Would you like to try it, Heidi? Try the challenge. Uh, can we do it together? Yeah, okay. Mm. Happy. Happy. Sad. Sad. Tall. Tall. Beautiful. Beautiful. Smart. Smart. Funny. Funny. Brave. Brave. Fast. Fast. Okay, wonderful. So, Vanessa, let me do just the adverbs, and then we can do two breakout rooms so that you can um, have a practice session with it. We have so many students tonight, maybe seven and seven or six and six. Um, but let's go through adverbs. I'll do those with uh, Sal, I'll do adverbs with. And let me pick two people and Olivia. So Sal and Olivia, I'll do the adverbs. So we have quickly, carefully, loudly, quietly, happily, slowly, sadly, and clearly. So these are all lees, but they become two syllable and three syllable and happily uh, three syllables. I'll tell you what, let's begin with Ha, Olivia. And um, so Ha, would you like to try? Yeah, okay. I'm ready. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> carefully. Carefully. Loudly. Loudly, quietly, 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 yeah, happily, happily, slowly, slowly, sadly, sadly, and clearly, clearly. Yeah, let me put these into the chat um, because I didn't make a PDF for this. I forgot that that was what we did last week. So let me just quickly put these into the chat for everybody. So you, um, it's easy enough to type these. It takes just a minute. So let me go back to this. And if you look in the chat, so when you're in the breakout rooms, I think you can see chat when you're in the breakout rooms. Is this true on Zoom? Sometimes Zoom does weird things. Like, I, I, mm, it's okay. do you know, I Vanessa? That I could copy the text and... Okay. Paste it into a document, and then uh -huh. I can share that document. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. So should I do the share screen again? And then you'll do like a copy screen? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, here we go. Share. Sorry about the glitch there. All right, so she's going to do a share screen so we can do the breakout rooms. But Olivia, would you like to practice before we go in the breakout rooms? Yeah, thank you. Okay, we have quickly. Quickly. Carefully. Carefully. Loudly. Loudly. Quietly. Quietly. Happily. Happily. Slowly. Slowly. Sadly. Sadly. Clearly. Clearly. Very nice, Olivia. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Now, everybody, you know, my joke when I used to work with Chinese students, I would end a list. I would say, Mr. Lee because it's the same as the Lee family in China. So they say, Mr. Lee, it's a bad joke, but I thought if it helps them to understand, Lee, 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 everything is Lee. All right, quickly, carefully, loudly. Uh, let's see, uh, Moon, would you like to try the adverbs? Yes, sir. Okay, quickly. Quickly. Carefully. Carefully. Loudly. 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 Quietly, oh, quietly, yeah. happily, happily, yeah. slowly, slowly, and clearly. Okay. Okay. So someone's talking. Oh wait, let's put this here. Okay. So, um, Vanessa, is it copied then? Shall we? Oh, your voice isn't on. So. Oh, let me see. Is mine on? Did my, yeah. my voice mute? Mm, 
Um, no, I'm okay. So, okay. So we uh, first we're gonna go to breakout rooms and practice the adjectives and adverbs only, not not the sentences. Yeah, not full sentences because to go through a list of all the students will take about ten to fifteen minutes. Because uh, Vanessa, you have a really good ear, like a musician, right? And uh, so you can really help the students pinpoint that, you know, pronunciation stuff. So if you look, um, I put it in the um, in the uh, chat, everybody. So uh, let's see, we have uh, 18 students. So you and I, so it's eight and eight. We can do eight and eight. Um, Vanessa, do you have the breakout room controls for eight and eight? Um, yes. Do you have the ability to do breakouts? No. Uh, it's under more. Yeah. And more is on the upper right. And then... Yeah, the more. I think Ms. Duke left you with the breakout options, unless she's here, if she can help us with that, because we really need. I'm here, Brenda. Oh, hi. Can we do the breakout rooms? Yes. I think you should be able to because you are also the co-host. Uh, no, I just have more. I have, um, I it just says start. Yeah, yes. start. I created um, room one and I uh, added about eight people. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So Vanessa has good control of it. <laughs> well, thanks to uh, Ms. Dick, I think. And she then I'll stay in the main room. room. And then, you know, I'll just work with whoever is in the main room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to the breakout room. Mm. See you later. Okay, yeah, I see it's working because the number of people in the main room is reducing. So, and then Vanessa, make sure you go into room one. Sometimes it leaves the teacher out. <laughs> Zoom. Sometimes Zoom isn't polite. All right. So do we have Jenny and Heidi and Natalia and Huang and Maurice? Are you here? And Moon? Okay. Yeah, Hi, Lynn. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Uh, Lynn, do you want to start with you? We can do the uh, pronunciation. And yeah. I'll do the, uh, let me do the share screen because I have all these colors, color codes to help you. All right, Lynn, would you like to try together or solo? Uh, I uh, I try it first, then you can correct me because okay. I have uh, the previous lesson. Hmm. And I start with the attractive. Yeah. Uh, hap yeah. Happy. Good. Sad. Hmm. Tall. Beautiful. Smart. Funny. Brave. Fast hmm. and adverbs quickly, carefully, loudly, quietly, happily, slowly, sadly, clearly. Very and, nice. Lynn. And sentences? Oh, we'll wait. We'll wait for sentences because when we come back, because okay. the sentences yeah. are really long, right? Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Heidi, would you like to try it? Yeah, let me try it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's some noise. Um, Heidi's just about to try it. Okay, Heidi, go ahead. All right, so happy, sad, mm. home, beautiful, small, funny, brave, fresh, mm. um, quickly, mm. powerfully, loudly, quietly, happily, slow, I oh, know, slowly, mm. sadly, clearly. Yeah, so the lee, the lee is a little yeah, bit. All right. Let's go to Natalia. Hey, Natalia, would you like to try? Uh, yes, I want to try. Uh, okay. I just to you. Uh, okay. Happy, sad, tall, beautiful, smart, funny, brave, fast, and adverb. Uh, quickly, carefully, loudly, quickly, quietly, happily, slowly. Sadly, clearly. Yeah, everyone understands that the emphasis is on the first with quickly and carefully and loudly, and quietly, happily, slowly, sadly, and clearly. Sounds good, Natalie. Can we go to Ha? Yeah. 
How would you like to do? All right, both of them, adjectives and adverbs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ha happy, hmm. uh, sad, hmm. tall, beautiful, smart, funny, brave, fast, hmm. quickly, carefully, loudly, quietly, happily, slowly, sadly, clearly. Nice. The only one is um, double L's are slowly. Slowly. slowly that one's a little challenging yeah slowly slowly, slowly. Uh, thank you miss duke i see you gave me access to the the breakout rooms all right <laughs> how about jenny are you there yes okay do you want to try okay happy sad tall beautiful smart funny great Fast, quickly, carefully, quietly, oh, loudly, yeah. quietly, hap mm. happily, yeah, slowly, yeah, sadly, uh -huh. clearly, clearly, yeah. Jenny, you have a nice, precise speaking voice. I can hear extra nuances. That's very good. Nice work. Huang, are you there? Hello, Huang. Are you there? It's a microphone problem, maybe. Uh, how about Maris? Maris, would you like to try? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, happy, sad, yes. tall, mm. beautiful, smart, mm. funny, brave, fast, quickly, carefully, loudly, quietly, happily, slowly, Sadly, clearly. Very nice. There's like a good rhythm in that, Huang. I like it. How about snow? Are you there? Would you like to try snow? We have adverbs now. We didn't have them before. Would you like to try? Hello, snow. Uh, sorry, my battery was off, and oh, I no. out of the room one, and I okay. cannot jump in the room one. All right. <laughs> Um, did you try the adverbs yet, Snow? Adverbs? Okay. Yeah. Quickly, carefully, loudly, quietly, happily, slowly, huh? sadly, clearly. Yeah, for the sadly, it's a little hard. You have to go sadly and clearly. Sadly and clearly. Sadly yeah. and clearly. Good. They're a little bit slower because they're sadly and clearly. Mm. Okay. Sadly. Sadly. Clearly. Clearly, yeah. And we're going to yeah. put those in sentences, I promise, because I, you know, it's not good to leave the words by themselves. Leaving them alone is not good. We have to put them in what, what's called context. Put them in context. Put them in a nice big sentence for you. So I promise that's coming soon. It's right here, but we'll keep it a secret until we all come back from the rooms. All right. Huang, are you there? Okay, I'm good. I'd like to see if that person's there to give a chance. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if Vanessa is done yet. You guys work so fast. <laughs> so I'm afraid to close the rooms because I don't want to stop her in the middle of a thing here. Uh, all right, let's do it. We'll have to be brave. We will be brave. Here we go. Okay. It's a nice message. All right. Now, I hope they were able to do it. They'll be back in 35 seconds. Okay. All right, everybody's coming back. And uh, let me see impressions by Vanessa, if you are there. Uh, okay. Coming soon, I hope. 
this is our group, but I don't know. Let me make sure. Okay. Okay, yeah, people are now coming back. Okay. All right, Vanessa, was there enough time? I think. Yeah. We were short on time. Oh. Uh, but uh, is, did anybody in my room, oh, uh -huh. like, not have the chance to speak yet? <laughs> You can do so now. Yeah, it's okay to do now. I'll put this stress mm -hmm. thing out here again. Okay. And then, um, Vanessa, did you have to translate any of them, or are they pretty easy, the adjectives and adverbs? Mm -hmm. Like, it's about, like, pronunciation. So uh, I think uh, people didn't, uh, like, a question about the um, meanings but yeah. if they ask me i could tell them but um, their pronunciation I, I just focused on their pronunciation okay. and i think that they these adverbs and adjectives are pretty simple mm. so mm. I, I could check there later slowly. slowly has two l so it was a little challenging slowly they so could my, do, yeah well slowly. and sadly my advice was just to go a little bit slower on these words, sadly and slowly and clearly. If they're in a communication situation where someone's not understanding them on a cell phone conversation or in a noisy airport, um, you know, you could say, could you say your name slowly? You know, or, I'm sorry, could you say that slowly? It's okay to actually say the word slowly, very slowly and clearly, very clearly. It's good for sort of traveling um, English. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, okay. If you want a question though, because I, I heard that you speak, uh, you pronounce the word beautiful, mm, yeah. like beautiful. So beautiful, mostly, it's uh, like American people, yeah. Um, would you prefer it to say like beautiful or beautiful? beautiful. But, but if you're from New York, you say beautiful, you know. Oh. So, <laughs> so it, it changes wherever you are in America. Mm. I say beautiful because uh, it's from living in Japan, you know, they don't catch a lot. So you really have to over enunciate. I yeah, see. so if I want to, I could do Chicago. Oh, it's beautiful, right? Really fast, beautiful. Because I thought the we we would focus on the American accent. <laughs> so, yeah, in that case, we're going to have some exceptions, though. So. Beautiful, because it just helps to understand, you know. Oh, that's beautiful, right? If you really give it a sort of a poetic <laughs> reading, it mm -hmm. conveys meaning better. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Vanessa, it would be difficult when you say, "Oh, it's so beautiful." You know, I, I feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Pronouncing that. It would be like asking someone who's highly educated in Ho Chi Minh City to say, could you say that so you sound like a street vendor? And you know, no, I won't say that, you know. All right. So the yeah. sentences in context, because context helps you with the rhythm. And um, I put this through analysis on Google to come up with the best emphasis, the best pronunciation. And this will take a little bit longer, but we have a full 45 minutes of class, so we can definitely go through all of this. So we'll start with sentences. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Okay, again, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Now, saying it fast, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Okay, so one more time fast. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. All right, let's try that. Um, we'll try to go through the list, maybe two students for each one, and we'll do the red ones and the blue ones, and then we'll go back to the breakout rooms because this is a long list with 10 altogether. This will probably take 15 to 20 minutes, Vanessa, when we're working with the students. So let me uh, choose students I didn't get a chance to call it uh, before. Ha, would you like to try this with me? Okay, let's try. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. 
I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Yeah, the children were sad when they had to move to another city. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. My niece is both intelligent and funny. My niece is both intelligent and funny. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. Because he defends weaker, uh, weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. Yeah, so how that one's long and it's a little challenging. Let's try one more time. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. Very good. Much better on the second time, huh? All right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's try the blue ones. Uh, blue ones, let's go to Heidi. Heidi, are you there? Yes, hello. Hello. Would you like to try the blue ones? Yes, please. Okay. The teacher told the students to finish their exercises quickly. The teacher told the students to finish their exercise quickly. My parents always told me as a child to do things carefully. My parents always told me as a child to do things carefully. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. We must be quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. The cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. The car moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there were a lot of, uh, uh, there were a lot of road, uh, not was, there was a lot of road work. Yes. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday, and he spoke very clearly. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday, and he spoke very clearly. Good, Heidi. Nice. Let's try with Lynn. Are you there, Lynn? Yes, I'm here. Lynn, would you like to try the red ones with me? Yes. Okay. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. My niece is both intelligent and funny. My niece is both intelligent and funny. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. Nice, nice. Lynn, would you like to try the blue ones too? Yes. Okay. The teacher told the students to finish their exercises quickly. The teacher told a student to finish the exercise quickly. My parents always told me as a child to do things carefully. My parents always told me as a child to do things carefully. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. We must speak quietly when visiting our friends in the hospital. The cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. The cars moved slowly as was Harold hour yesterday because there was a lot of, there was a lot of road work. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday and he spoke very clearly. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday and he spoke very clearly.
Very nice. Nice, Lynn. Thanks, right, sure. uh, Nice work. Let's go back to Vanessa. Vanessa, do you think that would be enough modeling practice before we go into some breakout rooms again? Um, I think it's enough, but I, I would like uh, you maybe to, you know, uh, there are a, this one word, which is restaurant. I think uh, that many people in Vietnam mm. would uh, encounter problems because they would say restaurants or something like that. <laughs> so yeah. restaurant is restaurant. Yeah, yeah. restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's practice it. It's a good point. Restaurant is the Italian restaurant, right? So let's put this in the whole phrase here. The beautiful use a beautiful. Right beautiful Italian restaurant. Let's go down the whole list and we can let everyone try that. So Snow, would you like to take the challenge, the beautiful Italian restaurant challenge? Yes. Okay, here we go. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Okay. Let's see, Lynn, would you like to try it? Beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Yeah, okay. We'll keep working on this. We promise. Ha, here's the challenge. Beautiful yeah. Italian restaurant. <laughs> I um, always make me laugh. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Uh, beautiful Italian restaurant. Pretty good restaurant, yeah. It's, you know, it's a French word, restaurant. And they go wrong, yeah? mm -hmm. restaurant. So it means to restore your health. It's from the word restore. Oh, yeah. And this started in France in the 1870s. The workers needed a quick lunch to restore their health. So they had vegetable soup and bread. So that's where the word restaurant comes from, restore your health. So think of it as restore your health. So beautiful Italian restaurants. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's go to Maris, are you there? Is Maris there? Uh, yes. Uh, Maris, would you like to try the beautiful Italian restaurant? Uh, beautiful Italian restaurant. Yeah, restaurant. Now you say it French way, Maris. Restaurant. <laughs> uh, restaurant. <laughs> restaurant. Like if you want a real American, like nasally, yang yang, like Chicago style, you say, oh, McDonald's is my favorite restaurant, right? But it's very nasally. Chicago style, right? Olivia, would you like to try the challenge? Yes. Okay, beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Yeah, restaurant, okay. I keep hearing the restaurant. <laughs> restaurant. 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 Yeah, because you know, Vietnam has that French thing. So <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> about, a, you know, I know it sounds terrible but for like 80 years, the French were there. And so they got that restaurant into the Vietnamese language. So beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Yeah, okay, getting better. Yeah. So Ham, are you there? Yeah. Hello, So Ham. Yes, I am. Are you going yeah, to say yes. ristorante? <laughs> beautiful Italian mm -hmm. restaurant. Restaurant. <laughs> beautiful Italian restaurant. Oh my gosh, I can see you have the R's going to restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful, beautiful Italian restaurant. Yeah, and I always have that dilemma. I don't want to change your accent because it's so wonderful, you know. <laughs> so interesting. A big dilemma for me as a teacher. You say, I want the American <laughs> accent, Brendan, but I think, oh my gosh, why would you change such a lovely accent, Salha? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tony Lee, would you like to try this? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Pretty good. Beautiful oh. Italian restaurant. Yeah. Restaurant. Restaurant. Hey, Nyokan, would you like to try that? Oh, yes. Okay. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Nice. And then let's go to Vivian. Is Vivian yeah. beautiful yeah. Italian restaurant? Yeah, beautiful Italian restaurant. 
Yeah, okay, you're confident. Beautiful Italian restaurant. All right, how about Susie? Yes, I'm here. Okay, beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Okay, getting better. Juan, beautiful Italian restaurant. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Yeah, you got the restaurant. Nice. And uh, how about uh, Huang? Are you there? Natalia, are you there? Yes. Okay. Uh, beautiful Italian restaurant. Yeah, restaurant. R restaurant. Yes. Restaurant. <laughs> and Huang, are you there with beautiful Italian restaurant? And Maris as well. Yeah, Maris, are you there? Maris, where are you? <laughs> what happened? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I'm here. Hello, hello, Maris. Can you try beautiful Italian restaurant? Uh, beautiful mm -hmm. Italian restaurant. Okay, restaurant yeah. is good. Beautiful Italian restaurant. All right, Vanessa, what? do you think they're ready for the breakout room challenge? I would like to tell you know Tony Lee because I heard he's. Uh, him said like restaurant something like it's okay. not rim. <laughs> try one more time. I'm going to drink tea. Yeah, yeah. So Tony Lee. Tony Lee, try again and then uh, Vanessa will help you on this one. Just the word uh, restaurant. He said like still the Vietnamese way with yeah. three syllables. Restaurant. No. Okay. Don't say that. <laughs> so it's two syllables, right? Restaurant, right? Restaurant. Yeah. Tony Lee, are you there? Yeah. Would you like to try one more time and Vanessa will help you on this one. Okay. Beautiful. beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I can, okay. Yeah. Beautiful Italian restaurant. Restaurant, no, don't say, just restaurant. the word restaurant. No, wrong. Like because it's French. Từ này là từ gốc của tiếng Pháp ấy, nên là nó sẽ không đọc như kiểu bình thường. Normally we say a n t s n, right? But here, uh, it's a bit different. Um, không, không phải là rừng đâu ạ, mà là wrong. Like restaurant. Restaurant. Okay, wrong. Rest not, beautiful not Italian restaurant. Okay, better. Sounds better. more like. Yeah. Getting better. Restaurant. Thanks, Vanessa. You um, know how to pinpoint that. Yes, um, one more thing. The word exercises, I heard like one of the students who practiced, like who read after you, she said like exercise always, so please uh, with like plural. Oh yeah, so yeah, there was, I caught that too. We have exercises with the Z, exercises. 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 Uh, yeah, mọi người bình thường là từ bài tập thì chúng ta sẽ là từ gốc của nó là exercise là ba âm tiết exercise nhưng mà ở đây mình là từ số nhiều và mình thêm s vào và bởi vì kết thúc của exercise là một âm s nên là mình sẽ phải nối thâm mình sẽ biến cái âm cái chữ es nó sẽ đọc thành is like exercises chứ không phải là exercise không ạ thì nó sẽ biến thành bốn âm tiết khi mà nó là số nhiều Bài tập, một bài tập sẽ là exercise, one exercise, nhưng mà hai bài tập trở lên, nhiều bài tập sẽ là exercises, bốn năm tiết ạ. Okay, yeah. All right. I, I, I so what we can do is recreate these breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. um, and let me put this in the chat, by the way, because this is good to have in the chat as a reference. If anybody gets lost, you can always look in the chat. And the chat is pretty good on this for putting in, you know, full size um, exercises here. So paste it in and there it is. It's quite long, but let's see if Zoom's gonna be nice <laughs> because sometimes Zoom is not nice. Okay, is it in the chat? It didn't highlight it. So I'm wondering, direct message in chat. Can everybody see that in chat? And it's doing strange things here. Like maybe it was overwhelming it because there was so much information. Send, send, send. Oh, I see. It's to it's everyone. Okay, so everyone in the meeting. Okay, go. Yay! It worked. I'm surprised. I don't have a lot of confidence in Zoom. Um, it always it has glitches from four years ago. They haven't worked out yet, and they should work it out. 
Okay, now the breakout rooms are going to reorganize them so you each get a chance with B Vanessa okay. and myself. Should um, I also, should I do like last time? I would like put uh, different people in my room. Yeah, it says you know you use recreate button, and so then you'll have new members hopefully mm -hmm. uh, there. And um, then it, do they have the reassigns? I'll try to remember who I wanted to put in there. Um, I'll tell you, we'll start the meeting and then I'll just um, grab eight students out, <laughs> okay? So we'll open the rooms now and we'll try the red ones and the blue ones. And then I will just find students to come out. So I'll, so I'll take a, um, first, uh, here they go, yeah. And so you use move to function. Okay, so I go move aha, to the main session. And let's go Lynn to the main session this time. Let's go Maris to the main session. Let's go uh, Olivia to the main session. Let's go Susie to the main session. And let's go Tony Lee can go to the main session. And Vivian to the main session. Okay. Good to see you. <laughs> all right. So that's how I just grabbed all of you out of that session. Um, okay. So let me go back to that chat screen because we want to go through the list. It's a long list, but this is a really good one. The um, adjectives and adverbs seem like they're simple, but there's quite a bit of work in the full sentence style. Um, let's start with Olivia. Would you like to try the red ones or the blue ones or all of it? It's a lot um, of work. Okay, I'm going to listen. I want to try. You might I want to try. Okay, here we go. Yeah. I will follow you or I do myself, by myself. Um, I just drank some water. You can follow me. Are you ready? Here we go, Olivia. <laughs> okay. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Yeah, with a this, this, this past semester. This, yeah. this past semester. Mm. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. Good. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. My husband and I went to the beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Yeah. My niece is both intelligent and funny. My niece is both intelligent and funny. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. Hmm. The teacher told the students to finish their exercises quickly. The teacher told the students to finish their exercise quickly. Uh, exercise quickly. Yeah, so that's the one Vanessa was saying. Exercises. <laughs> Exercises. <laughs> okay. Um, my parents always told me as a child to do things carefully. My parents always told me, told me as a child to do things carefully. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. Huh? The cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. The cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there, there was a lot of road work. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday and he spoke very clearly. We listened to the to a speaker from Africa yesterday, and he spoke very clearly. Nice, Olivia. Very good. Thank Let's you. see, Salham, would you like to try it? Is Salham there? Hello, Salham. Okay, Vivian, do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. Want, uh, yes, please correct me if any. Okay. Uh, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Good. The children were sad 
when they had to move to another city. Mm. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Mm. My niece is both intelligent and funny because he defends weaker kids from bullies. Tom is a previous boy I know. Okay, so Vanessa, that one, uh, not Vanessa, uh, Vivian, that one is intelligent. Can you say intelligent? In, in, intelligent. intelligent. Yeah, so my niece is both intelligent and funny. My niece is both intelligent and funny. Good, good. Okay, do you want to try the blue ones then, Vivian? Yeah. The teacher told the students to finish their exercises quickly. Mm. My parents always told me as I try to do things carefully. Mm. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. Mm. The class moved slowly in rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday and she spoke very clearly. Yeah. Try the one, um, it was visiting our friend in the hospital. Visiting our friend in the hospital? Yeah, visit is a difficult word, so it's visiting, visiting our friend. Yeah. Visiting. Visiting. Yeah. Tony Lee, would you like to try? Yeah, okay. I can okay. do my share. Good, good. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. My niece is both intelligent and funny. He scored his defense with her kids from Billy's. Tom is the bravest boy I know. The teacher told the students to finish their exercises quickly. My parents on way told me as I try as a child to do things carefully. Mm -hmm. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the, the hospital. The car moved slowly as last hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday. And he spoke very clearly. Nice, Tony Lee. I like it. Your restaurant yeah. sounded improved too. So you you listen yeah. to um, Vanessa very good. That's true. Uh, very precise. Okay. All right. Uh, let's Thank go you. to Ha. Would you like to try the challenge? Yeah. Okay. My, uh, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Mm. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Uh, my niece is both intelligent and funny. Because he defends wicked kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. The teacher told the students to finish their exercises quickly. My parents always told me as a child to do things carefully. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. The cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of work, uh, road work. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday and he spoke very clearly. Nice, ha. Huh? Each word you had good pronunciation. I didn't find any problems because you went slowly and um, the English word methodically, you were really thinking about each word. So there were no real pronunciation problems there. Very nice, ha. Huh? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah. And uh, teacher Brendan, I have a question. Sure. Yeah, the difference between the red light and the blue light. What is that? Oh, the red ones here um, on these sentences. Let me think. It's a good question. Oh, yeah, it's simply adjectives. And then I think the blue ones I did because they're adverbs. Uh, okay. Yeah. So the red ones are the adjectives from up above. Um, 
here, sad. Yeah. yeah, and then I think the blue ones I wanted to do slowly and uh, quietly. Yeah, those are the adverbs. I did this this afternoon, so thanks, Holly. Huh? <laughs> reminded okay, okay. me. Reds are adjectives, blues are uh, adverbs. Okay. okay. Olivia, are you there? Would you like to try? Uh, or Lynn, I, did I call her? Let's do Olivia and then Lynn will go back to you, I promise. Olivia, here we go. Yeah. I'm All right. Or, okay, Lynn, you try first. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you seem really happy today. Hmm. Oh, oh, those are the question ones. We'll wait um, when we come back into the main room because um, that, oh. that I need Vanessa's help on some of that. Yeah, yeah. I promise we'll come back to it. So, we'll back. so I will read the sentence. Yeah, do you want to try the sentences? Okay, uh, yeah. with the red one first. I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Hmm. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. My niece is both intelligent and funny. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. And the blue one, the teacher told the students to finish their exercises quickly. My parents always told me as a child to do things carefully. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. The cars moved slowly as Rose Shaw yesterday because there was a lot of road work. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday and he spoke very clearly. Nice, Lynn. I'm done. Yeah, confident. You're confident in your speaking, so it's good. All right. Um, let's see, is uh, Olivia there? Yeah, but I'm gonna try um one time, and I think I have another one to try. I okay. Let's see. How about Susie? Susie, do you want to try? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. The children were sad when they had to move to another city. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. My niece is both intelligent and funny. Because he defends weaker kids from bullies, Tom is the bravest boy I know. The teacher told the students to finish their exercises quickly. My parents always told me as a child to do things carefully. We must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. The cars moved slowly at last hour yesterday because there was, not, there was lot of road work. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday and he spoke very clearly. Hi, Susie, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see, Susie, the only one is that F word is friend in the hospital or funny? There was just one F that needed a little work, like intelligent and funny and yeah. finish, that's it, finish their exercises quickly. Intelligent and funny. Yeah. Um, and how about finish their exercises quickly? Finish their exercises quickly. Good, good, much better, okay. Yeah. Let's go to Huang. Are you there, Huang? Hello, Huang? H, Ms. H, are you there? Uh, okay. So let's see. I don't know if the other teacher, uh, Vanessa, has had enough time. But let's go back. And I just want to check the chat room for a moment um, to see if there are any messages. All uh, right. Okay, let's see. We'll um, go back to the uh, the breakout rooms and um, close the rooms, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay, good to see everyone again. If they're coming back, I hope. <laughs> if they come back. It will close in about 45 seconds. Uh, 
Okay. All right, if everybody's back. Okay, I'm good back. to see you all. Yeah. Vanessa, how was your group? My group did uh, very well today. They, oh, okay. uh, yeah, so um, just a few mistakes. All right. Uh, not much. Not much, okay. Yeah. Um, so I, I, could, like, I could give you um, a brief, <laughs> for example, <laughs> Marys, yeah. she she need to repeat more when announcing, like she said, like joy or something like that. But she's like relax more when speaking because American accent is sounds very casual and relaxing. Right, you don't have need to tense. Uh, you don't need to be very tense uh, when speaking. Uh, and and. The word Africa, she said like uh, Africa, something like that. And also Heidi should practice more on the ending sounds of the letter S, like uh, good, great, cars, um, or defense, because she almost she like forgot to pronounce the ending Z or endings. Yeah. yeah. And then... As a child, that's one phrase that I think uh, she she learned uh, today to pronounce it better. I know um, she also swallowed the the s sound. She also said like um, instead of saying semester, she said like semester semester or something like that she didn't pronounce the s sound. In. Uh, and she learned a new word today: bully. She didn't know what bully mean. Yeah. Oh, uh, and Natalie, uh, also she swallowed the s sound, so she said like hospital uh, instead of saying you know. And yeah. also, no, I, she, oh, no, I think she performed the the best. Mm. She she did it very well. Mm. However, there were maybe four mistakes that I could uh catch, uh yeah. both. And um, so the the sounds of the letters T H, yeah. we have the and the right. So she, she made mistakes on the word both and uh. the, and um, also exercise instead of saying exercises, she said like exercises. Yeah, exercises so, is hard. That was a difficult letter. Yeah, it's the. The mm -hmm. z out, not z. and rush hour. She couldn't pronounce the sh in in rush. Rush hour. Z. Hmm. Most of the students understand rush hour. Um, I hope so. Uh, so everybody, do you understand what rush hour means? Yes, I get that. Okay. Yes, I know. <laughs> so what does that. it mean, please? <laughs> rush hour. Okay, now there's something. Oh, so could you I want to show this one because the hospital, uh, I, I put it in, you know, hospital is this in English. Hospital. Uh, hospital. Hospital. And then French. Hôpital. Hôpital. So again, there's that French influence on Vietnamese speaking. Hôpital. Hôpital. You know, hospital. Yeah, the, they think the French left that behind. Hôpital. Hôpital. <laughs> and then English. Hospital. 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 Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to think of more of those where that happens. Um, Vanessa, can you help me model um, one thing is the questions because the students wanted to get to the questions. We have 10 minutes if you and I could at least model these for the students. Yes. So they, you know, it's so really they, important. They could do their homework. Yeah. So you're going to your Vanessa and I at least model these. It would be terrible if we didn't do the question style. Um, because the question style sometimes does change the emphasis on the words, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Vanessa, would you like to be A or B? I could be A. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
she was gets yeah oh, and by the way number one is an unusual situation because um there's no question it's just back and forth banter yeah, you know okay um is there anything in you that you would like me to notice um for that? the students you know i i wrote it's an a b conversation but um looking at this i realized <laughs> number one i didn't make a question it's just two people uh, in the American style, shooting the breeze means just light talking on a Monday okay. morning or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you seem really happy today. Oh, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Did you do anything special for your 10th anniversary? Yes. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Uh, does uh, does the hospital have any special rules for visitors? Yeah, well, I should say, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. We must speak quietly when visiting our friends in the hospital. How was the conference in Hanoi? It was great. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday, and he spoke very clearly. Why was everyone late for work yesterday? The cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. All right, Vanessa, do you want to change so we can really model this well? Sure. Okay, you seem really happy today. Oh, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Hmm. Did you do anything special for your 10th anniversary? Yes, my husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Does the hospital have any special rules for visitors? Yes, we must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. Hmm. How was the conference in Hanoi? It was great. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday and he spoke very clearly. Hmm. Why was everyone late for work yesterday? The cars moved uh, the cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of word work. Okay, road work. That's a tough one. Road work. <laughs> road, so, work. road work. Let's try with some students because we still have eight minutes so we can at least get some practice in. And then, of course, I'll make this PDF file for everybody and put it in YALO for you. Heidi, would you like to try the challenge? Yes, hello. Okay, hey, Heidi. Hello. Uh, okay, should I be A? Okay. Um, you seem really happy today. Oh, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Did you do anything special for the 10th anniversary? Yes, my husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Does a hospital have any special rules for visitors? Yes, we must be quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. Should we change the room? Yeah, I'll do a. How was the conference in Hanoi? Oh, it's still here. I thought it's finished. <laughs> okay. Uh, she, it was she... great. Yeah. It mm. was great. We listened to the speaker from Africa yesterday. Uh, he spoke she... very what? Mm, I, I think Sorry. Also, the the WH questions like how was the conference in Hanoi and why was everyone late for work yesterday before switching roles? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, I thought that the exercise is finished at three. I did not see the last two sentences. But uh, anyway, okay. So uh, Heidi, do you want to try four for A and A five and A? Yes. Okay. So uh, I be A again. Okay. Good. Um, how was the conference in Hanoi? Um, it was great. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday, and he spoke very clearly. Why were everybody no? Why were everybody left for work yesterday? The cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. Okay, so um, um Heidi, let's see that A that number five on A. Let's say that together. Okay, slowly. Why was everyone late for work yesterday? Why was everyone late for work yesterday? Okay, Vanessa, do you want to try with that one? Um, I, I'm I coaching. Like, 
I would like to you give her comments. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, why was everyone late for work yesterday? Heidi, it's best to go slow on that one because some of the um, things would... Uh, Vanessa was calling... it's a lot of sounds. Chị, yeah. Heidi, chị đã nuốt rất là nhiều âm. Chị cố gắng phát âm chậm rãi cái câu này để đầy đủ các âm. Why was everyone mm -hmm. late for work yesterday? Từng âm từng... Why, why was everyone left for work yesterday? Much right. better. Yeah. And also the intonation, did uh, teacher Brandon, did, did you think that she did the intonation correctly? Because I know that yes, no questions, um, you raised your voice at the end and the yeah. WH questions you go down, right? Yeah. So she, she she spoke the sent all the questions with uh, like the raising intonation. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I didn't catch that. So. She could have said, like, how was the conference in Hanoi? But she said, like, how was the conference in Hanoi? Ah, uh, okay. Today? Uh, <laughs> all right. Good point. So, yeah. Okay. So, Let's try uh, today, should I, uh, I, I think I, I, I would like to tell everybody in Vietnamese. Uh, okay, yeah, please do. That's fine. Yes. So, uh, mọi người ơi, chúng ta ở đây có hai loại câu hỏi trong tiếng Anh đó là câu hỏi yes no và câu hỏi wh. Thì câu hỏi yes no là ví dụ những cái câu yes no chính là những câu hỏi như thế nào ạ? Là những câu hỏi mà có câu trả lời là yes hoặc là no. Ví dụ như là câu số 2, câu hỏi số 3. Đó, đó là những câu là câu hỏi yes no bởi vì câu trả lời khi mình trả lời là mình sẽ trả lời với có hoặc không thôi. Đó là tại sao chúng ta gọi là câu hỏi có không, câu hỏi yes no. Thì với câu hỏi yes no chúng ta sẽ lên giọng ở cuối câu. Đó là lên giọng ở chữ, um, lên giọng ở cuối câu đấy. Ví dụ như là, did you do anything for your 10th anniversary? Đó, nhưng mà với câu hỏi số 4 và số 5, 4A, 5A thì chúng ta được gọi là câu hỏi WH. Đó là các câu hỏi bắt đầu với các từ để hỏi như là how, why, who, what, when, where, which. Đó là các từ để hỏi và bởi vì những câu trả lời này à với các, các câu hỏi này thì chúng ta sẽ trả lời, không trả lời yes no được mà chúng ta phải trả lời với các cái chi tiết và nội dung và kiểu giải thích Đúng không? thì gọi là WH question thì ngược lại câu hỏi yes no chúng ta lên giọng ở cuối câu nhưng mà với câu hỏi WH chúng ta sẽ xuống giọng ở cuối câu và ví dụ như là mình sẽ không nói là how was the conference in Hanoi mà là chúng ta sẽ nói là How was the conference in Hanoi? Hoặc là why was mình sẽ lên giọng ở chữ how mà xuống giọng dần ở chữ Hà Nội. Và câu số 5 cũng thế lên giọng ở cao nhất, mình sẽ nói cái từ cao cái âm cao nhất là why và xuống giọng ở yesterday. Thay vì nói là why was everyone late for work yesterday? Không không, nó sẽ nói là why why was everyone late for work yesterday? Ok, mọi người hiểu rồi chưa? Okay. I'm done. All right, thanks, Vanessa. Very good. Natalie, would you like to try the challenge? Is Natalia? Sorry, Natalia. Hello, Natalia. You have your hand up. Do you want to try? Uh, okay. How about Moon? Are you there, Moon? Yes, sir. I'm here, sir. You want to do the A or the B? Yeah, I will be B, sir. Okay. <clears throat> You seem really happy today. Oh, I'm happy because of my daughter got good grace this past semester. Did you do anything special for your 10th anniversary? Yes, my husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Does the hospital have any special rules for visitors? Yes, we must uh we must speak quietly when we seated our friend in the hospital. How was the conference in Hanoi? It was great. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday, and he spoke very clearly. Hmm. Why was everyone late for work yesterday? The cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there were lots of road work. Okay. And... Uh, Try that one. There was a oh, lot. I want to try. Yeah. Okay. Who is that? Is that Natalia? Oh. Okay. Your microphone's on now, Natalia. Yeah. Yes. I want okay. to try. 
Would you like to be A or B? MB. Okay. You seem really happy today. Uh, MB. Okay. You seem oh, really I'm happy, happy because my daughter good. Yeah. Good wife this past semester. Did you do anything special for your 10th anniversary? Yes. My husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Well, does the hospital have any special rules for visitors? Yes, we must speak wisely when visiting our friends in the hospital. How was the conference in Hanoi? It was bright. We listened to the speaker from Erica yesterday, and he spoke very clearly. Ah, why was everyone late for work yesterday? The cars moved slowly at first hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. Okay, so um, Vanessa, you can see there are several points there that need some work. Um, the hospital came up again. That one is challenging for some of you. Hospital, hospital. So Natalia, can you try the hospital again? Hospital. Yeah. Hospital. hospital. Yeah. Hospital. Vanessa, do you want to try that one? Because it's ha, 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 yeah. um, what, what should I do? <laughs> I don't know. A hospital is it's reversed like hospital. Should be hospital. Mm -hmm. hospital. Uh, I, I'm going to tell her Natalia, right? Natalia, you know, Chính xác các cái âm ở đây uh, hospital thay vì là hospital nào đọc đọc cứ chỉ cứ đọc bình tĩnh từ từ Hus hospital yeah hospital 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 okay mm -hmm. sounds better yeah okay Lynn yeah. let's do one more and then we'll finish for tonight so Lynn would you like to try it yeah I really want to try <laughs> okay A or B Lynn B, okay. You seem really happy today. Oh, Lynn, are you there? Your microphone went out. Yeah. Let okay, me check it. Okay. okay, you're good. You seem really happy today. Oh, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Did you do anything special for your 10th anniversary? Yes, my husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Does the hospital have any special rules for visitors? Yes, we must speak quietly when visiting our friend in the hospital. Okay, there it is. It's reversed. So hospital? Hospital. hospital. Yeah, better. Okay. How was the conference in Hanoi? It was Great, listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday, and he spoke very clearly. Hmm. Why was everyone late for work yesterday? The cars moved slowly as Rochelle yesterday because there was a lot of road work. Yeah, there was a lot and of road work. A <laughs> lot of road work. Yeah, that one's best to go slowly on because there was a lot of road work. Can I change to the A? Do you want to change? Yes. Okay. All right. You see, are you? Okay, so you uh, are yeah. A now? Okay. Yeah, I'm first. You, first you seem really happy today. Oh, I'm happy because my daughter got good grades this past semester. Do you do anything special for your 10th universes, anniversary? Uh, anniversary? Anniversary. 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 Yeah, yeah, my husband and I went to a beautiful Italian restaurant last night. Does the hospital have any special rules for visitors? Yes, we must speak quietly when visiting our friends in the hospital. How was the conference in Hanoi? It was great. We listened to a speaker from Africa yesterday, 
and he spoke very clearly. So why was everyone late for work yesterday? Ah, the cars moved slowly at rush hour yesterday because there was a lot of road work. All right, my voice is almost gone, so I think we have to finish for tonight, everybody. But I promise we'll do a PDF for you, and I'm going to try to get some audio going for you. Um, I'm going to figure out a way to do that, leave you some original speaking style. All right, any questions? Sorry we couldn't practice with everybody on those last questions, but if we do a review next Saturday on March 30th, uh, we can come back and try the questions again as a review. Um, teachers, Assistant Vanessa, thank you so much for helping. Um, I think some people had to go to bed. <laughs> so that leaves so just you and I. Yeah, thank Thanks. you. Everybody I enjoyed for it. Being and, uh, thank, thank you also. Thank you, Vanessa. Thanks thank you. for everybody. Welcome. Nice thank work. you. Good night, thank everyone. You guys. Good night, night everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. See you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.